Kebakaran di samping rumah, Mami Mirza. Kebakaran. Amin bukan di samping rumah sini, tapi di, di bagian agak sedikit jauh sana. Orang-orang sudah ev evakuasi. Saki, I say get your sandals right now. Laptop dan lain sebagainya di sini. Kamera cuma tiga saya bawa. Pemirsa, dia punya asap. Kita bisa bisa cium sampai di sini ya. Oke, okay, let's go. Oke, okay, akhirnya kelahiran. We gotta go. I just say if I fire, I'm gonna bring the records. You get the kids. I got the records. Good, but oh, whatever records you missed, okay. Asapnya makin hari makin kuat. Polisi di depan rumah apa uh, menyuruh untuk evakuasi. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. My family is. Ah, uh, saya punya keluarga saya punya akte kelahiran semuanya. Holy moly! Dokumen-dokumen. Ya, yeah, hold sorry ya. Oke. Lift gate open. What do you mean lift gate? Oh, the back. The back is open. Oh shoot. Oh my god. The itu api sudah sangat dekat sekali, Travis. We gotta go. Tadi saya kasih tinggal beberapa kamera, toh. Saya balik, saya ambil, saya ambil semua kamera. Mommy. Yes. Wah, open the water. Kalian lihat itu asap di belakang rumah kita? Can you see? Di belakang sana eh. Pemirsa, api sudah dekat. Pemadam kebakaran tadi sudah pergi, ada dua. Travis bilang pemadam kebakaran memang dulu akan kasih stop itu itu api, cuma itu debu-debu yang berterbangan itu itu yang akan kayak ada api begitu. di bagian rumput-rumputan ya karena saya tahu di bagian sana tidak ada rumah sama sekali by the way Tuhan mudah-mudahan kita punya rumah tidak catch on fire wah wow, tidak kita tidak bisa pergi ke, ke sana ada itu ada pemadam kebakaran oh, look 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 okay kids you stay here I'm gonna document it. where's my phone where's mommy's phone ini jalan yang selalu saya lari sore Oh kelinci, kelinci lari. Oh Tuhan, kelinci lari. Kelinci. Kalian lihat, kalian bisa lihat tuh kelinci. Ada kelinci kehausan itu pasti. Oke. Okay. Kalian lihat tuh dia punya debu di ash, di ashes. Sudah gelap sekali ya. Eh. Sudah sangat gelap. dekat sekali dan kita punya rumah ya oh ampun mudah-mudahan rumah kita tidak kebakaran oh but shadow will get out because he is he's tie on the front Ada pesawat yang mengelilingi ini perumahan. Jangan sampai ada yang ada orang yang hilang. Hmm, 
we got back inside because it's too hot. Yeah, the floor is ground. It's hot, isn't it? Yeah. The floor. Brita, Brita, Brita. Is the air conditioner working at the back? Travis masih dengan setia untuk menghujankan kita punya rumah ini. This is video. It's not photo. It's not photo. No, I'm video. Okay. Cheese. 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 Sorry, cheese. Cheese. What are the kids? Yeah. Makan siang, mamen. Sudah aman sekarang keadaan jadi. Sudah masuk di dalam rumah lagi, pemirsa. Semua anjing-anjing ada di sini. Selamat sentosa saya selamat. Anak-anak suami semua selamat. Saya lagi kasih nyalakan musik untuk anjing-anjing kasih relax mereka, you know, karena saya pikir bahwa mereka mengetahui keadaan yang terjadi. Travis ini tengah hari tua, dia minta teh panas. Mm. So, mari kita bercerita mengenai kenapa sampai itu api terjadi. Tadi saya bercerita dengan tetangga, mereka bilang bahwa api terjadi karena ada orang yang potong rumput pemirsa pakai itu mesin yang putar-putar itu and then tiba-tiba langsung dia menjadi api yang besar saya tidak tahu apakah ada rumah yang terbakar ya pokoknya di belakang rumah yang bagian sana itu kan hutan ya siapa yang potong rumput yang hari tua begini Travis dia makan ini dabu-dabu dia sampai hampir setengah menangis karena terlalu pedas padahal tidak terlalu pedas Amerika. pertama saya bikin ini dia memang pedas sekali. Cuma saya pikir ketika anda taruh dalam kulkas, dia punya kepedasan kayak berkurang begitu. Saya juga tidak tahu kenapa. Mungkin saya punya kulkas dia magic. I don't know. Ngoni ini sama mau makan ikan. Siapa mau ikan kepala nih? Oh, what? Fish head, no bones in the head. I take all the sharp bones and I give them the one that don't have no sharp bones. Travis is really scared. In Indonesia, a lot of people give their dogs bones. Travis dia tidak suka bones sampai anjing-anjing diterima kasih bones. See, I take all of these sharp bones here. Sakira chale. Hmm, serap sekali ya. Acoustic or you wanna? You wanna acoustic? But you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Saya punya mata kayak kesakitan. Eh, saya capek sekali. Saya bawa semua ini, Pak Mirsa. Okay, very penting to. Three yang besar sana saya kasih tinggal. Ini dia yang paling penting segala macam vlog-vlog yang saya belum edit ada di sini. So, uh, glasses, OMG, extra glasses, extra glass, um, komputer, laptop, oh, oh, this one, prescription glasses again, hi.
this bag you need more cameras than buku dan lain sebagainya and then oh this one is very important pemirsa ini semua saya punya kartu look so can you tell to pemirsa what happened Travis lagi bersih-bersih, suami yang sangat rajin ya, tidak disuruh tapi dia bersih-bersih. Terima kasih Tuhan sudah memberikan saya laki yang super duper. <laughs> Menjaga kebersihan. Dia itu kalau datang dia punya setan pemirsa, oke, okay? dia sering kasih bersih rumah itu mati nat pemirsa, lebih bersih dari saya kasih bersih pemirsa, oke. Okay? Cuma kalau datang dia punya setan yang jahat pemirsa. Dia buang ini apa? Ini baju di di lantai-lantai bikin saya punya bisa mau bilang kuda itu, bikin saya punya tanduk ini sudah mau keluar dan semua puk 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 puk. Jadi ya. Berarti ini dia lagi kasih bersih segala sesuatu di dalam rumah ini saya santai kan biasa. Oke, saya santai karena hari ini adalah hari saya. And I don't care. <laughs> He. <laughs> saya kasih naik dulu saya punya kedua tas ajaib ini karena mereka berdua ini sering sekali menolong saya. Dimanapun saya pergi, pemirsa. So what happened? Tunggu interview dulu interview yo. Astaga sudah mati ini baterai. Tunggu, tunggu, tunggu. How did you know there was fire? So when I was coming back from the store buying groceries for the family, uh -huh. I saw smoke. I smelled smoke, and um, I was suspicious. So I go outside and I hear the fire truck going around to our neighbors saying. They need to evacuate, and the fire when I came back out was even bigger, big cloud of smoke, and it looks close. So apparently, what happened was someone was doing yard work, maybe weed eating, and caused a spark. It's been very hot recently, but it's not too hot today. Right, but recently, and the grass was dry. It's not about it being super hot. It's about how dry is the grass. But if it's not hot, then the the grass will not super dry. It does right, but it's been hot for a while, right? Yes. It doesn't have to be hot today. It's been hot for the last over a month. Right? Okay. So because of no rain and it being hot, the grass is dry, so easy to catch fire. So when I saw that, I go to you immediately. I say uh, that you need to put the kids and the dogs in the cars and have the cars ready to go. Uh -huh. Just in case the fire get closer to uh -huh. our house. Now it doesn't mean we have to. We're, we're, we're definitely going to lose the house or anything. Um, it doesn't mean the fire is going to get to us. I I trust the fire department is very good. The military fire department. Oh, also, they they came here. They also came too. Yes, because the fire department at the base is so big, they also support the community. And they are very close to us. Exactly. Yeah. Um, plus, if they don't take care of the fire, the fire could burn the base. <laughs> so they have to come here. <laughs> and a lot of people who live in this neighborhood go to the work at the base. Yeah. <laughs> so, so anyway, why it looks so dark? Even though, even though I, I trust that the fire department is going to put out the fire, uh, they even use a small plane that drop a uh, fire retardant. What is fire retardant? It is uh, water, like, like a powder, a red powder. Okay. They drop it and it hit the ground and explode. Well, it explode a little before hitting the ground, um, uh, and it basically everything it falls on doesn't burn easily. Oh. So. Like, how do you know you spread water and then it's our house is not gonna catch on fire? There's fire safety training in California. They have like uh, public information. Okay. Here's what you need to do. Oh, um, okay. They say always cut your grass so it's not tall. Tall grass is more fuel and make it and make it so your house will burn if the fire is started nearby okay um, if you spray water on your roof um it can prevent the little embers from setting your house on fire and the thing is even if they stop the fire over there um the embers the burning embers that are in the air from the fire uh, they can land on a house further away and start another fire and that happened another fire started over there because of this one but it started oh. on more grass. Okay. So another patch of uh, fire started, and they put that one out too. Huh. Right? So the fire can can spread, spread. like that, um, not even connected to each other. I actually don't know that. So, Tadi yang Travis dia bikin siram-siram air itu dapat dari safety whatever safety peep, safe, what do you say where you got that from? Uh, like public safety. Public safety. 
Informasi dari publik keamanan pemirsa, oke? Okay? Yeah. Some people feel like they're safe because they're far, they're kind of far away, uh -huh. uh, and the fire department is going to take care of the fire, right? Oh, I was ready to go. But you're not safe because the fire can jump to your house. I think I should learn a lot about safety. I need to know CPR. Well, super easy. I I think I know. Stay alive. Uh, 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 stay alive. That's the pace. Uh, Is the CPR to human and to animal Different. the same? Different. Different? Mm -hmm. Okay, what how if I see a uh, uh, collapse deer? What am I gonna do? Holy cow. Um, I know for dog, that's it. <laughs> well, uh, for it, dogs, you do this, right? It, yeah, it depends where their lungs are. You need to know where his <laughs> lungs are. What about the snake? The, the deer is on the ground thinking, is thinking I'm choking and now you're punching me. Uh, what about a snake then? How, how do you know a snake is is needing a CPR, whatever? Like, what kind of situation is this do is this snake gonna need a CPR? I don't know, probably grammatical error, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? Why would you think I would know that? I am not like a zoologist, honey. I'm a soldier. Okay. <laughs> if something happened to you, what am I going to do? Well, assuming I'm on the ground. Okay. And it's not my heart. Um, it's going to be um, right about here. And it's going to be on my... Um, it's going to be on my ribs. So you have to push hard. Right? Okay. Um, you would need to put your palm onto it. You want to push down like two inches. Re my... Really hard? Hard. Well, it's going to break you probably. Yes. So, when you do uh, CPR correctly, just the chest compression part, um, usually you get cracked ribs. Now what's going to happen next? You're going to get a surgery? They'll heal on their own. Usually. Really? Yes. Cracked ribs is not like broken off ribs. Oh, okay. So, because you're making the, the rib cage flex, um, and you're doing that to push down on the lungs to push the air out. Oh, right? okay. This is for people who are not breathing. Oh, not breathing. Okay. If they're just passed out, like they're drunk. But I watch <laughs> a movie, the other guy, he did not breathe, and the nurse came with a blown knife. We should put a knife yeah. right here. So if the neck has something in it and it can't come out, CPR is not going to help. So she needs to use a knife. So she poke a hole in the, um, uh, not esophagus, the, uh, it's your, um. Basically on the neck. Just say on the neck. Gosh darn it, I'm forgetting the word for it. We don't need to know, just say neck. Okay, but it's important that you're going into where the air goes. <laughs> don't, you don't want to ever poke someone here or here. That's where your carotid, carotid arteries are. So I'm gonna die if they poke it right here? Very quickly, it's like 30 seconds. Oh, so people who do knife in here, they know exactly what they're right. doing. You're not just poking a hole in their neck. Oh. You're poking a hole in the right spot. What's bothering me now? Everything needs to be specific. Travis lagi cari di Google. Kenapa saya hitam berat sekali begini? Apakah karena si Travis ada di sini? It gets stuck in your esophagus. How these nurses know where is my esophagus? It's the dead center front of your neck. How do they know though? Because this is skin. It's not like... X-ray. Because they're paid to know. Uh, CPR is something very simple that almost anybody could learn to do really easily, right? Um, and it also is one of the biggest things that saves people's lives. Hmm. Um, that and bleeding control. If you learn how to stop someone from bleeding uh, severely, if you learn how to, to get someone to keep having air once they stop breathing, you can save a lot of people's lives if to keep them alive long enough for the doctors to come and the and professionals help. to come. If you want to learn two things that will keep people alive, it's learn stop people from bleeding and learning to help someone breathe. Those are the two big ones. You can save a lot of lives. So, okay, this is what I know, okay? Uh, correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Let's say you got shot mm -hmm. right here. I will take clothes and I will... Uh, whatever that I take to stop the bleeding, right? Mm -hmm. That's what I do. Um, that is one thing you can do. 
Now this is one of the worst places to get shot anywhere inside of this area because it is the hardest to stop the bleeding. You can actually, if the bleeding is bad enough, you can put a tourniquet on the arm or leg and, and cut off all blood to the arm or leg. And then no, no more bleeding because you cut off all the blood by making it tight. But here's how the way is to stop blood. First, apply direct pressure. If that doesn't work, elevation. If that's not working, uh, pressure points. Uh, pressure points are parts where your, your vein, your artery, is close to the bone and you can, with your fingers, push hard, like right here, um, push hard against the, the vein and stop it from bleeding. Hmm. And then you can hold it there for the person and uh, until the doctor gets there. Or if that's not going to work, tourniquet. That's the last one you do. Um, if it's a chest wound, anywhere in the chest area, um, you can't do a lot of those things. You can apply pressure, but what you can do is a quick clot gauze. And that is a gauze uh, tissue um, that has a chemical in it. When it contacts blood, it becomes like hard like rock. Oh. Uh, and you shove it into the wound. You actually push it with your finger into the wound. And the reason for that is it will take any place that's bleeding on the inside and seal it. Oh. And then you apply pressure and put a bandage over it. That's what military use. Mm-hmm. We should have that in our house. We do. Oh, good. Well, that's it for the lesson today, student. Thank you for watching A Day in Our Life. Thank you for watching. Do I look fat? No. I look you fat. look great. I look fat. I look really fat. Focus on me, dong. I look really fat and look really... <sighs> Okay, Mr. Bye.